Rick Roslin here with another do-it-yourself total solar eclipse project. When you think about a total solar eclipse, like what's going to happen here in April 2024, you think about how objects move, how the moon and the earth move, and they move by revolving, turning around. So in this project, you can make a model of how the moon and the earth revolve. I call it our revolution and gravity DIY. To do this, you'll need some simple materials you can find at home. Some pliers, wire cutter, a coat hanger, a piece of PVC pipe, half inch, about six inches long, and this uh, ball of some sort, foam ball, almost any ball, even a tennis ball will work. All right, our first step is be careful with uh, uh, the ends of these wires because they can actually poke you in the eye. So if you have goggles, that might be a good thing for younger people to wear. So the way I've done this, I've bent this, and now I can hold it here and I can show how something revolves around me. It, it's not rotating, that ball is revolving. Now if I add this, I am now rotating, and like the Earth, and I have the moon revolving around me. And not to get too complicated, but that moon is actually revolving and rotating in sync. So I always see the same side. So let's make one of these so you can have some fun experimenting and demonstrating solar eclipses. So let's start with a coat hanger. And I got some wire cutters on the uh, inside of this rather large pliers. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part off because I could go ahead and use that, but it just makes it easier just to cut that off and not have to use this part. Our next step is we wanna make a little crank a crank and so you can sketch this out you're going to make one 90 degree turn like this there's a 90 and then one more 90 degree turn like this and now you have your crank for your revolving and rotating model be careful that this doesn't poke you so i'm going to go ahead and uh, straighten this out and i'm going to add my pvc pipe down through here and bend it and you can play around with this also here we go and I have a foam ball that you could you could uh, heat this up or glue it in I'm just going to push mine in right about here and here we go as simple as that I have now made a moon that will revolve around my head. <laughs> so let's have some fun. I have a flashlight here with some bright light and get someone to hold the flashlight or set it on the other side of the room and it's aiming right now for my face. And if I rotate this around, maybe I can get this to get a shadow on my face. And I'm having my own solar eclipse right about there. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> And hopefully you can see the shadow being projected. Because remember, for an eclipse or a shadow, you need three things. You need a light source, which is the sun, an object like the moon, and a surface, in this case, my face. But you know what? I can have some more fun. I don't know. <laughs> this is about as close as I can get to a model of the Earth, the moon, and the sun. Have some fun. Learn about the solar eclipse.